What's up guys? Welcome back to the Rusty Gaines YouTube channel. I am Mr. Gaines. Today we are playing on a single grid server. Now this is a um, kind of a weird server. It is a random item server. So every item you pick up, uh, when you cut trees, when you hit nodes, they're just random items. So it's kind of weird. And as you see, we are starting off really good. We instantly got killed. Uh, this server is not for the faint of, faint of heart. So um, it is a PvP server. It is, um, if you're new to this game, do not play on this server. It is very difficult, very hard. Um, it's a... Uh, challenging it's not very fun to be honest I will probably not revisit this and it basically uh, showed me how bad I am at this game I am more of a builder and not really a PvP or -er, if that's a word so uh, but yeah, there's no kits, which makes it even worse. And it's an Inardo, it's his server, and he charges like 30 bucks for kits. This this person's annoying. Is Anton on? Who's Anton? Nobody knows who that is. Oh, is Anton on, Mr. Greens? Mr. Greens? Does my name have an R in it? No, it does not. Yeah, there's a bunch of annoying kids. And then you have a bunch of chads. And there's a bunch of, uh, like, Chinese people or Japanese people. Or at least people with Chinese or Japanese names. And let me tell you, Breaking Barrels is not the key to this server. Now, see now, you find out where his base is, you find out where my base is, so you gotta kind of fuck off there. Nice. The one kid is asking where Tokyo, where his base is at. I guess he's talking about alone in Tokyo. I don't know if he plays on this server or not. But. Hey, what, do, you know where, do you know where Tokyo lives? And who is this guy? He's asking me if I know uh, what about shrubs? where Tokyo or Shrubs is. I'm like, no. Why would I know? Yeah. Plus, it's the first time on this server. And he said, welcome to something, the server. Probably the most fucked up server you could, uh, you could ever play. And yeah, Breaking Barrels is not the key to this. Um, running around and just picking up, you know, items, food, berries, um, the little nodes that you can pick up. But it's, this, this server is super hard to even build a base. Getting wood is just the most ridiculous thing because when you cut a tree, it doesn't give you wood. So it's, uh, it, it's very difficult very very difficult but at least the uh, recyclers are sped up and the smelting is sped up so the easiest way to build a base is basically um, to buy buy metal frags so that way you'll actually have metal frags oh yeah and there's no BPs Everything is available, but you still do need a workbench in order to um, progress or to craft. And this kid kept following me around. I don't know why. So annoying. It's like, what is going on? What? Who hit you in the head? I mean, I knew that was going to happen. I was just tired of listening. Start somewhere else, maybe. Just this server is just the most frustrating thing in the world, let me tell you.
So, like I said, it's a random item. As you can see, as I'm hitting the tree, I'm just receiving random items. You know, a bucket, basic scrap, stone spear. You know, it's just, it's weird. And so, you can never get what you want. But sometimes, like, you'll get a rocket. You know, you'll get an AK. Um, you know... It, you just get random items and that's what makes a server so hard because you you can't really plan okay i need scrap so i'm gonna go hit barrels i need you know metal frag so i'm gonna go you know hit some nodes i need wood so i'm gonna go chop down some trees no you don't get what you need you just get random shit so this server is just, it's so hard, and now I'm i am coming in on this server, like, in the middle of the wipe, so there's, like, obviously tons and tons of bases, people are, you know, they've progressed, they already have their base built, and, you know, they're established, and here I am coming in, in the middle of the wipe, with nothing, trying to uh, survive with nothing so it just the server is it's crazy it, it really is this is uh, one of the more craziest servers I've ever played and I, I play a lot of goofy servers but this is uh this takes the cake I probably spent more time just uh, I guess looting boxes and crates just because it takes so much more time and effort to get the resources to build a base. I mean, at this point, I'm like probably two, three hours in and I still don't have a base just because, number one, I die a lot. And number two, you just can't get what you need in order to build a base. I think if, you, um, if you're on a team... You know, it would help out quite a bit, but it's still very, very difficult. So, I found this base. It was, uh, I guess, decayed or it had been uh, raided. And I decided to take it over. The TC was unlocked. Um, you know, it's already metal and kind of high quality metal as well so i used what little resources i had to close it in um, i still didn't really have enough to finish so i got what i could done and yeah i found a uh an armor door i definitely did not have enough metal to finish um upgrading all the walls or the ceiling so we had to go out and get some more and of course I died like probably 50 more times and that's the part that's so frustrating it's such a small map I think the population is 200 um, but at the as the time I was playing it hovered around a hundred so it's there's a lot of people on this server i mean tons of people and again you're only like i mean it's like like six or eight uh squares so you got everybody packed in such a small area you know trying to build a base trying to get resources and then of course you have your chads that just they they sit in their tower and they camp and they kill everybody that just walks by. And it's just... And they don't even loot your body. They don't even care. They just they just build this tower and then sit up in their tower and just shoot, just shoot people that walk by. That are just looking for material. You know, half the time I'm naked. And so it's just... It's the most frustrating experience I've ever had. Again, if you're new to this game, do not play this server. Um, even if you're, you know, an intermediate person, you know, you have 1,500 hours, do not play this server. It is 
probably the worst server you could you could play. It's terrible. It's it's not even fun. All right, so at this point we are like four and a half hours into playing this server, and I'm just now able to honeycomb the uh, the base that I found that I took over, the the two by one, which is you know not what I would have chosen, and. I can't even honeycomb this corner for some reason. I don't know why. It, it makes no sense. Because I can honeycomb the other side, but I can't honeycomb this this section out of the wall. I don't know why. And I'm surprised I haven't been raided because it's like I don't know, every, you know, 20 minutes you hear tons and tons of C4 go off. And as you walk through the map, a good 90% of the bases have been raided. So it's it's kind of crazy. It's very hard to survive on this, this server. I just kind of stayed low-key. I always, uh, when I go home, I make sure nobody's watching me. Nobody sees where I go. And I went ahead and decided to honeycomb the roof just because it's a, uh, a weak point in the base. Um, put a pancake layer on here. Hopefully uh, this will help me survive. People will see it and be like, oh, that, that's, you know, too expensive to raid. Because, I mean, you do get C4 randomly and... Uh, satchels randomly but those items are more rare and it, again because you do get random items it is very difficult to uh, craft boom I mean you'll get small amounts randomly but to actually get enough sulfur to craft you know a bunch of boom or a bunch of rockets it's uh it's pretty hard so you know raiding is difficult but now if you're well established and you start it from day one of the wipe then you know yeah you're gonna have you know some boom but yeah this server just it it drove me crazy very very difficult and because of the amount of bases that have been raided or they're probably decayed because, you know, people jump on here, they try to build a base, they end up giving up. And so there's tons of small bases that are just, they're decaying or they have appear to be raided. So you're better off looting all these other bases. I mean, even like, you know, get barrels. And they're, they're full of stuff. Some of them are. But the majority of the loot that I got was from these bases. And the majority of the resources I got were from purchasing them through the, uh, the vending machines. Just because it's so difficult to go out and... Um, you know, break nodes and get what you need. This is pretty funny. It's kind of humiliating, but I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't have a gun on me. I thought I could hide over here. <laughs> What's good, Val? Hey, I, fu I fuck with the effort, though. I fuck with the effort, though. <laughs> fucking crouch behind this fucking... <laughs> I just thought they would run through and wouldn't pay attention. Because a lot of people do that. They don't pay attention. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, here's my base now. I have a tier 3. I got barrels. And uh, it's all just full of junk, though, really. And... You spend a lot of time at the recycler just because you have 
so much garbage loot to uh, recycle. And here we go again. I mean, I don't even know where I was being shot from. It's just, it, you know, every time I step out of my door, I just, I get shot. And it's just, it, it's the most frustrating server. If you have, like, a team of two or three people and you start it from day one, you know, you'll probably be you'll probably be fine, even if you're not good at PvP. But just having that second person to watch your back is is a key as well. It, it's very helpful. Solo, this is very, very hard. And it's just, uh, it's very frustrating. Yeah, you just go around picking up shit and then... You know, occasionally you'll see stuff like this, just random stuff just sitting out here. It's like the dude had nothing, you know, he wasn't aiming a gun at me. That's how I am. I'm a passive player, I guess. Even though I should just kill everybody in sight like everybody else does, but you know, I just I just don't. Here my inventory's full again, just but it's mostly garbage loot. So I'm gonna run over here and recycle if I can make it. I didn't have any low grade. Yep, see I'm not gonna make it. Of course, I'm not very good of my surroundings. I'm just kind of oblivious to my surroundings and I don't hear um, I just don't hear people you know I watch some of the other youtubers the the Chad youtubers and they can hear people walking like from on the other side of the map it's like how how do you hear these people I don't know maybe I'm old and my hearing sucks and my vision sucks this is the dude that killed me. Figured I'd just run over here. I have nothing. Maybe maybe they'll shoot me. Maybe not. It's all just, you know, a 50-50 chance anyway. And they left. See, they don't even loot me. They don't even loot my shit. I don't understand. Why kill them if you're not going to take their shit? So I was running by this base, and I could hear somebody in it, but then, you know, I don't know where I got shot from. I just, I don't know. Probably from across the map. Who knows? So, as you can see, I did get into some uh, PvP battles, but every time it ultimately ended me dying, either being sniped or, you know, I just, I'm not very good. So, I decided to be a little bit sneaky and let's, uh, let's craft some, some mines because I can just place those around my base or place those in areas where I see people run through a lot. 
and you know hopefully we can get some loot but you know it didn't quite work out the way I thought it would right down there is the uh, the outpost or they call it the compound and tons of people run through here I hear them all the time running through here so I figured well this is a good place to start So a lot of people run through here, so I got quite a bit of people um, hit with the mines, but nobody had any loot on them, so it was kind of unsuccessful. This is one thing I did quite often. And honestly, it helped out. You know, if if somebody didn't have much, you know, I would pick them up and give them their shit back. And they remembered my name. And so, you know, the next time around, they don't shoot me or I don't shoot them. Or, you know, they pick me up. And so, you know, it, it helped being friendly because, you know, everybody's out here with the same struggle, doing the same shit. Um, and this guy, you just shoot first, aim later. But I don't even know where he went. He just like disappeared. But there were a lot of, a lot of, uh, I guess new people, people that aren't familiar with or have low hours on Rust because there's just, you know, like me, not very good at PvP, I guess, just, you know, randomly spraying bullets everywhere just because it's just, it's chaos. It's just chaos everywhere you go. You, you hear gunshots, but you just don't know where they're coming from. And it's mostly because they're all around you. It's such a small map. There's just, like, gun battles everywhere. And it's just, it's just chaos. It's really hard to progress. And I was trying to, uh put landmines out just everywhere, but I, surprisingly, it was hard to find places to put them down. Just because I guess you can't put landmines near uh, people's TCs, and it's just there are buildings covering every square inch of this map. So it was it was really difficult to find a place to even, even put the landmines. But, like I said at the beginning of this video, I probably will not be revisiting this server. Um, it's definitely an experience. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was okay. I think if you start at the beginning of the wipe, that you have a better chance. But, then again, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I would not recommend this server to anyone. Whether you're, you know, good, bad, have 5,000 hours or 200 hours, I do not recommend it. But anyway, we're going to end it here, um, mostly because my power went out, like, right up here, and um, it didn't come on for 10 hours, so I just kind of end it this video, and we'll see you all in the next one. I appreciate you all. And please subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace out.